so the race doesn't start for another half an hour. I'm gonna practice some. practice a bit. Yeah, I figured I'd get on a bit early, earlier than start time, that way, uh... Get a few minutes to warm up. Seems to be working now. For some reason, uh, the game wasn't recognizing the controller mode there for a minute. than before. Which level is it? Six something. I was trying this a couple days ago. And I wasn't working. So the idea is to jump at a specific time, and it sort of clips you into the wall like that. And then as soon as you clip onto the wall, you jump again, and then up and over.
It looks like I've been selected for the restream. How exciting. Downsides, I can't. I won't be able to talk. If they all these my audio, I can't talk. I'll be jumping a little too early. Talking about the second jump. So, in the first jump, I know I need to jump around, around right here. I try to line it up with. See where Mario's toes are? See that thick white diagonal line? I try to line it up right there. But I mean, you're running. <laughs> so it's difficult. His feet are moving. And then, second jump. Need to jump is just a matter of timing. I slowed the timing down. See if I can get it this way. That's where I wanted. I just missed the second jump.
Hey, I got it. Alright, so I recorded that. So now I should be able to go back and look at input log. And I can look at it in real time. That way I can time it based on that as well. And that's a good place to practice that. Got to play. <laughs> this is me playing now. Start select too quickly. This is the only level I really know the speedrun strat for. As I say that. Thank you. 
Man. Never mind. Get up there. Enough of that.
I should probably buy like a whole cell controllers a package of or like a pack of five. This this uh twenty eight year old controller is uh, starting to starting to go. Oh, dang. We're playing the other type. The other... The Shuffled Overworld. A sec. I'm gonna be, yeah, I'll, I'll be muted for the for the race. I'll keep microphone on, or sorry, I'll keep camera on, but I'll have microphone muted. Uh, should be starting here in less than 10 minutes. I'll be right back. Get this started.
Just finish with the time of 4524 to so give him the GG's in chat, please. And here he Welcome is, Ted. Speaking which GG's. <laughs> <laughs> Your thoughts on the scene? Yeah, Tay's getting used to. in particular can be, can be a headache at times. Yeah, and sometimes that can play a big part of it too, especially whenever you see a certain fortress, you know which ones you need to beat, and other times, like if you see the World 1 fortress, you know that you don't necessarily need to beat that one to finish the world. If you don't mind me asking the, the uh, players that are here right now, do you want to kill those Hammer Brothers at the first world, which was World 4? Yeah. Yeah, I beat it. Uh, Did they have while. anything at all? Like, anything useful? No. <laughs> Two no, stars no, no. and a... Two stars and a P-Wing. Oh, okay. So, all right with the P-Wing, but yeah, the stars are throwaway. I'm always, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll play those early hammer bros for sure. If I get an early hammer or cloud pole, I'm, I'm all over that, but unfortunately. Yeah, that could be a game changer. I mean, it would have been a game changer for World 5, because then you could have skipped <clears throat> four levels with it. Yeah. Precisely. Yeah, World, World 1 as well. I don't think anyone had a hammer. I don't know if you managed to skip that, that mm. lot. No. No, I got, I got mine in the card game and skipped a stage out of it. Yeah, no, exactly. So yeah, I, I played the first level in World 1, and then I spawned the card game because I got enough points, did the card game, got a hammer out of the card game, and realized that you get hammers out of the end card game. So then I broke the lock right then. So I only skipped two levels instead of three, but I felt like it was still worth it. Yeah, we yeah. Uh, still good, yeah. Definitely. Uh, I want to say I did the same thing, but I'm not, I can't remember exactly. I'll have to go back and watch. Well, guys, it was a really good race, really close between the three, between uh, technically all of you guys. It was at certain points where, where <laughs> Jenna kind of got stuck behind. But I didn't want to say it because it was it was very close for a while. And then yeah. Tapito yeah, took a Herbaceous. huge lead. Yeah. He got a huge lead there for a while. And then both Claris and Herbaceous snuck up on him real fast. Yeah, yeah I don't in the same level in places, too. Very close to race. <laughs> that was over a nine-minute World 8. So yeah, I was like, oh, they're they're catching up. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, I had a pretty clean world day. Uh, maybe I just got lucky. Yeah, I, I yeah. coughed it up to Bowser, so that's where I would have flipped it. But yeah. 
I do want to remind everybody in chat who is watching right now, there will be a sh exhibition showcase race tomorrow. I believe that's at 4 p.m. Eastern time, if I'm correct. I believe you're right. Right, hosted by Speed Gaming, and it will feature myself, Bonzoi, and a classic gamer. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, so if you guys are interested and you want to participate in this, you can join the Discord, download the randomizer, start practicing, and even just join the tournament. Just do it for fun. There's, It's not high stakes or anything like that. We're all here to have fun and enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> So be sure to give all the racers here a chat, uh, follow on their channel here. And also, don't forget our restreamer, uh, Garen Old Wolf. He did a really good job here helping me out. I'm a Cobra, yes, myself. Yeah. Just drop everybody here a follow. We all appreciate it. We love doing this, and we love bringing it to you guys. Yep. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, guys. Have a good Thank one. You. Thank you, guys. That's my fastest time. That was my fastest completion. Still. Last place. <laughs> That's alright. That's alright. Stay tuned. 